we're starting a new series from the book of 1 John called Living in the Light. 1 John uses the word light as a theme throughout the letter. In chapter 1, we see how living in the light exposes the lies we believe and helps us live authentic lives as Christians. 1 John begins by telling us that God is light. Look at verse 5. This is the message we heard from Jesus and now declare to you. God is light, and there is no darkness in him at all. We're told that God is light. He's perfect, he's glorious, he's true. But for our purposes, I want us to think of it like this. God is authentic. God is totally true. He doesn't wear a mask. He's true in what he says and what he does. He is light. And God takes his spotlight and he shines it on us. And as he does so, he exposes the darkness in our lives, our thoughts, our attitudes, and our actions. He exposes the lies we believe. Now, there's many lies that we believe, but John focuses on two of them. First, God's light exposes phony faith. Look at chapter 1, verse 6. So we are lying if we say that we have fellowship with God, but go on living in spiritual darkness. We are not practicing the truth. These are people who say, I believe in Jesus, but it doesn't matter how I live. Maybe they actually say that or they just think it. That their actions don't really matter. They can just say they believe in Jesus and that's good enough. But that's phony faith. Authentic faith involves two things, the right information and the right attitude. We talk about this in Foundations, but the right information are the basics about Jesus. That he died on the cross for your sins and was raised from the dead. And you need the right information, but you also need the right attitude. And people who have phony faith fail because they don't have the right attitude. We see the right attitude in Acts chapter 2. There Peter is preaching to people and he's telling them the message of salvation through Jesus Christ. And this is what we find. Peter's words pierced their hearts and they said to him and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter replied, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God. You'll notice their attitude. They said, What should we do, Peter? Tell us and we'll do it. And what's Peter's response? They need to repent. They needed to change their mind about who is God. That's what repentance is. It's a desire to change your mind about who is God and a desire to follow him. The second lie that John exposes is that God's light exposes phony righteousness. Look at chapter 1 verse 8. If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. These are the people who say, I don't really need God. I'm not that bad. Now, again, they may actually say this or they may just think that. People who aren't Christians may say that. They may say, I don't really get the whole Jesus thing. I'm not really that bad of a person. I don't really need a savior. Or Christians might say that because they feel like they're done with sin, that they've grown so much, they don't really struggle with sins anymore. But according to the Bible, that's phony righteousness. The Bible says all of us struggle and deal with sin. And if we claim that we don't have sin, we're calling God a liar and his word isn't in our hearts. And so what we need is authentic righteousness. And authentic righteousness comes through confession. Look at chapter 1, verse 9. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. Confession means that you agree with God. You agree with God about your sin and you tell it to him and you receive his forgiveness. And when you take part in confession, you no longer have a phony righteousness or a phony faith, but authentic faith authentic righteousness. You are truly living in the light.